So it's 2018 and you as Africans are celebrating insults in derogatory terms that your enemy gives you. You find it so amazing that you make theses and videos about calling yourselves the names that your enemy call you. So I saw a video the other day, 2 million views, Nigerian young man making a thesis about how his country Nigeria is a shithole because it can't pump electricity, get water to its people, and a number of other challenges that a lot of African countries have make Nigeria a shithole. But while I was watching this, I couldn't stop thinking that when I was growing up, I was always told that when there's a descriptor or a noun at the end of whole, it usually means what is it, whatever the noun is, is what comes out of the hole. So for instance, when it's a rabbit hole, it's usually rabbits that come out of the hole. Ant hole, it's usually ants that come out of the hole. A bullet hole is usually made by a bullet. So when he talks about Nigeria being a shithole, I couldn't help but think to myself, who is the shit that comes from Nigeria? Is it his parents? Is his mother shit? His father shit? His uncles? Friends? Aunties? Family? Him? Is his president shit? Is the whole Nigerian country full of shit? Because surely if it's a shithole, only shit can come out of it. And it got me thinking that if Africa is a shithole, then what about all the civilization that we as Africans gave to the world? We taught them how to read, write, writing systems, irrigation, building, medicine, basically everything that the world knows came from Africa. So is that all shit? Surely it has to be shit because we are a shithole. My ancestors, the ones that we call the Mutafa Empire that built houses of stone, cut granite, into amazing shapes and sizes and then laid it on top of each other without any mortar. They created an empire that was able to provide the world with gold. They must have been shit. Ashante, which provided the gold that civilized Europe, the gold that created the Enlightenment, they must be shit. And what about the Moors, the Moors that went to teach Europe civilization, how to bath, how to have running water? They surely were shit. And all the records that have been written in Africa that are sitting in Timbuktu, in, in the museums, the first museums that were found in Africa, all that information must be shit. Nigeria itself, where the city of Benin was built, and architects and uh, city planners came all the way to Africa to see the city that had been built in Africa. They surely must have been shit. Mansa Musa, the richest man in the world, had gold that was taken all the way until he got to Mecca, leaving, resulting in inflation in Africa. He must have been shit. Ophir, found in my country again. This land that people believed that King Solomon was mining his gold in Zimbabwe, because the Rosary Empire was able to supply this gold, until Beira was called the port of gold. We were digging all this. We were creating all the civilization that made the Chinese and the Indians come and trade with us because we are shit. Judge of Opobo, the very first oil baron, selling palm oil to the world, to the extent that the British had to tell the Queen that this man is destroying us. She had to send the army to put him under arrest, put him in England, and then put him in exile in Ghana because he was producing just so much oil and cutting out the middleman. The term cutting out the middleman comes from this great Nigerian 130 years ago, but he must have been shit. Of course we must be shit because only shit comes out of Africa. If the forefathers and founding fathers of African Pan-Africanism would understand that they died for youth and men who think like this idiot, they died for men and women who will share a video up to two million hits for us to, in, to, to, to ridicule ourselves, they would feel that they died for nothing. Haiti, the other shithole, is the first African nation, the first African land in the world to emancipate itself from slavery. And they emancipated themselves from slavery by fighting one of the world powers of the time, the, 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 the French army of Napoleon, the Grand Army. He defeated, they defeated them. And this is why Haiti is hated till today, because it is the most powerful black nation on earth. They defeated a superpower to liberate themselves from slavery 217 years ago. So if we're going to use social media at a time when we've got no other communication platforms to send negativity about ourselves, 
You must stop wondering why the world hates you. You must stop wondering why the world despises you as black people because you hate yourself more. You despise yourself more. You only define yourself according to how other people see you, according to how other cultures see you. And all you do is grovel in cultures that are actually worse off than what we are. The culture that it is that you're measuring yourself against, they shit in water. Then they cleanse and clean the water so that human beings can drink it again. Our ancestors knew never to drink, never to, to shit in water. That's culture that you look up to. In America, the greatest consumers of pharmaceuticals, and ironically the greatest consumers of pesticides and herbicides, and they're one of the sickest nations in the world, but they have the guts to have a president to tell us that we are shit. Think about it. People who will work out technology, who will innovate to bring sickness and death unto their own people. A nation that will create a weapon that can destroy the world and hope that we are evolving into a better time and a better evolution. Africans, you've got to start thinking. We have pristine waters in Africa. We have forests in, in Africa. We have clean soil in Africa. We do not have chemicals poisoning our soils. We do not have chemicals poisoning our food until and unless the shit in your water culture is brought to us because of people like this Nigerian who look out for, look out for everything that comes from outside Africa. We're a continent of purity that is being corrupted by filth. A continent of greatness, of spirituality that is being contaminated by shit. The reason why Europeans left Europe to come to Africa is because they were dying of disease and hunger. Hence they came to abundance. And when they got here, they were clean waters, pristine. We did not shit in our water. We knew where to shit. You need to know your history. And I'm challenging you to see Will you share this video that tells you that you're great and you're not shit? I'm not shit. My parents are not shit. My friends are not shit. My nation is not shit. My leaders are not shit. My continent is not shit. Africa is not shit.